Hey guys, Nick the Nutter Buster coming at you again. We are cranking out gear review videos. We're continuing the series that we started yesterday talking about gadgets, hunting knickknacks, which is basically just stuff that for me doesn't include my tree stand or my rifle or the clothes on my back. I don't have to carry a lot of gadgets. We talked yesterday about the Doyle's hunting hoist. One of those weird little gadgets uh, that I will not leave home without or at least won't climb a tree without. And then today we're going to be talking about another piece. It's kind of clothing, kind of part of my saddle setup, but I haven't covered it in the video before. And it is kind of a gadgety type thing. So we're going to cover it. We're going to talk today about knee pads. These are Arc'teryx knee pads. They are fairly pricey at $60 a pop, but they're perfect. Um, I tried several different hardware store knee pads, um, didn't care for them. Basically, if you don't know, if you're sitting in the saddle, you'll, fig you'll figure it out in the first 10 minutes, or I did when I first started saddle hunting. You need something to go on your knees. Right? Knees, to, knees to the tree, it's not particularly comfortable on most trees. Every now and then you'll get lucky and you'll have a tree that, you know, you can find just that right spot, you know, need knee pads. But nine times out of 10, you need a pair of knee pads. These are awesome all right so your other option if you don't want to use knee pads you can use just a pad that wraps around the tree i always hated that because it's just too big it's too much it doesn't work really well on a very small tree or a very big tree it's something you have to carry strapped to your bag some kind of which way it just turns into a mess uh these knee pads they just they kind of strap on your knees and then they just stay there out of the way usually when i put these on I don't realize they're there. I don't usually go to take them off until I get back to the house and I'm, you know, going to undress and get in the shower and I wonder why my pants won't come off and it's because I have my knee pads on still. Um, <coughs> the Arc'teryx pads, they're just a real good balance of, of good quality. These have had about two and a half seasons put on them and aside from all the dirt on them, they basically look new. The elastic hasn't give out. The foam hasn't compressed. That little hard rubber shell on the outside, it hasn't really sustained any type of damage. None of the glue's coming apart. Um, they're really well made and they do what they're supposed to do. They take some of that pressure off of your knees when you go to sit with your knees against the tree. Um, which you'll want to do eventually, whether you're using a big platform like the Lone Wolf Custom Gear, Ambush, or whether you're using, you know, just three bolts in a tree. Eventually you're going to want to sit and put your knees into the tree these are going to make that bearable um, not having knee pads that's bearable for all of about 10 minutes for me with these on i can sit all day with my knees to the tree and it's not an issue um, the other thing about, i like about these i wear these even if i'm not climbing a tree um, just because once you have them and you get used to using them it's amazing to me how often they come in handy how often i'm kneeling on the ground so whether you're um, like kneeling in the bottom of a canoe. That's something that I do a lot. If I'm in a canoe, I like to be able to kind of get a little bit further forward than that seat, kneel, brace my thighs against that, that rear thwart, kind of heel that boat over on the side so that there's less wetted surface and it's easier to paddle. Um, kneeling, I can, you know, with these knee pads on, I can kneel very comfortably paddle a canoe for miles. Um, if you're going to go to deer, you know, you're kneeling to do that. And it's really nice to have dry kneecaps at the end of the day. That's a little thing, but considering that these weigh just a few ounces, and when you strap them on, you don't notice they're there, that's a very nice little convenience. Um, or just minor stuff, you know. Say you're walking through the woods and you hear something and you want to stop and listen, you can kind of drop down to one knee, and it's, it's more comfortable. You're not going to get a stick in your kneecap. You're not going to be, you know, have, have your knee in the dew soaking into your pants and getting all icky and uncomfortable. Um, you know, you drop down to one knee to look at a deer track. You're pretending that your Uncas is the last of the Mohicans and you're going to read your deer track or whatever. Um, a million and one little ways that they come in handy just being out in the woods and they don't weigh anything. I have definitely got my $60 worth out of these. I have heard mixed reviews about the knockoffs that you find on like amazon i'm gonna leave a link to these um, i believe i got these from moose jaw so i'm gonna try to leave that link um, if they're still available there amazon you can get the knockoffs 
Um, I don't think you can get these on Amazon. I think these are kind of a smaller company. They're made in Canada, actually. Go figure. Um, so the knockoffs, I've heard some people say they're just as good as these. I've heard some people say that they're garbage. These work really well. Um, that little clip that they have, just like that, you're hooked. No real noise. There's no Velcro. I loathe Velcro on hunting gear. It needs to die. But first, it needs to suffer. Um, so, yeah, get them. Knee pads. Um, I would definitely say, in my experience, pony up, get the good ones. These are black. They make them tan. I see some people spray paint them. I've never bothered. You can see they're kind of a dingy, dirty gray by now, and your knees are kind of in the tree most of the time, so it's not exactly visible. A deer is really only seeing those straps. And those straps are going to be black whether you get the Coyote Brown models or not. So, yeah, that's it for this evening. I call me a sissy. I refuse to saddle hunt without knee pads. Um, I can do a short hunt with a big platform like the Lone Wolf Custom Gear. I can do that for a few hours. But if I'm going to be there all day, dark to dark, I want knee pads. If I'm going to be standing on three little bolts around a tree, if I'm just using my tree hopper drill, you just about need knee pads. Because if you're standing the whole time, that's going to get old real quick. You're going to want to sit, put your knees in the tree. And then that tree, it's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to be wet. and it's just it goes down here real quick from there. do yourself a favor get a good pair of knee pads don't go to home depot and buy a five dollar pair of foam knee pads they're going to tear up the first 10 sets that you have on them these like i said these have lasted me two very hard seasons and during deer season i'm usually in the woods at least once a week from october all the way through january and then i hog hunt so really all year you know, 52 weekends out of a year, there's a pretty good chance that I'm going to be out wearing those knee pads, and they've done real well. So, that's it, and that's this evening's video. A little bonus gadget. Um, this, y'all will know that I like to have a little bit of beer with my gear reviews that I do. Um, I had to replace this. I had one, and I lost it. This is a Stanley uh, koozie, a Stanley brand thermos koozie these are awesome they're like eight bucks a piece substantially cheaper than the yeti models they're smaller they actually fit in a drink holder they got that little bit of rubber around them that actually grips the can keeps it from sliding out check these out they uh they, they make your casual evening sips much more enjoyable so that one's free that one's not part of our regularly scheduled programming but anyway we will see y'all again later we're coming up on the weekend so we'll actually have some daylight uh, so we're probably going to do some videos outside, maybe like compass navigation or uh, going over the Long Wolf Custom Gear setup or something like that. Maybe going over using the Hickory Creek up in a tree, something like that. So, But anyway, y'all take it easy and I'll see y'all later.